All right, Jay Silver with Helicon, and we're out here today in Dunedin, Florida, where there's a good amount of crawl spaces. You wouldn't even think looking at this home that is a crawl space home, but they were having, uh, come on inside. Let me just show what they're having. So they were having some extreme wood rot in this room. You could actually, it was very spongy. So things you're looking for, loose uh, floors that are sinking, settling, the baseboards may be dropping. And I'm, uh, I'm here with Richard, uh, one of the foremen on site, who's putting in some of these beams and, and jacks. And uh, maybe, Richard, you could just tell us uh, just real quick kind of what was going on out here and how you're tackling the problem and getting it fixed. Already, uh, yeah, initially um, what was suspected was, uh, you know, one sister ring, maybe some dead wood and stuff. But once we got here and actually walked into the home, we definitely felt like we were being pulled towards the center of the house here. That's uh, how you could see the wood. It's a lot dry where I, and uh, they had previous work done here, but it wasn't done to par. So we're here cleaning it up, making sure that uh, the homeowner has a nice, safe home and more stable. That way she can put the furniture and everything on. Also, uh, it helps the uh, quality of the air in the crawl space once we're going to be done with the encapsulation and stuff. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, in here, majority of the sinking was done towards the center of the room. We pulled up the floors. There's two layers, and uh, they're saturated on the bottom. So that expanded a little bit, and uh, that caused the wood to soak, soak up most of the water. It looks like they made an attempt here to lift the center of the floor. Um, a lot of homemade stuff. <sighs> Nothing's really uh, drilled in, which is what we discovered. Um, you can go ahead and take a look right here. We have about four supplemental beams uh, per, per homeowners, uh, whoever they contracted to come out. So we're ending up putting a beam here to support the whole center of the home. As you can see, the rocks, jack plates right here, this is where we'll be placing them. Linear line, center of the home, majority of the weight. That's that's going to be great. That way it lifts on either side also. Right. Uh, you come into the bathroom here. From right here, when we first came, once we stepped here, we felt a definite tug. Say like a ghost was pulling at your shirt. But this is where majority of the damage was on the home. We pulled up the floors. This was already broken off. This is one of the original joists. As you can see, it's like paper. Just like this one, it's like paper. Mm -hmm. Very bad. No termite damage, luckily, but this is definitely dry dry rot. You know? Dry rot. What causes that dry rot, Richard? Um, so this <clears throat> stuff to flake like this? It could soak up and then eventually uh, we could reach okay. temperatures in the crawl. And then pretty much, I don't want to say steams it out, but it drips mm. out. Then goes to the floor. Floor starts sinking, and the the pillars here that you have supporting the the CMUs, which is the main beams that support the majority load of the house, they start to sink because mm -hmm. water is getting through and causing erosion. So it's just eating mm -hmm. up at it, uh, you know, little by little. But you know, over yeah. the years, it, it's great. And is that it's caused, Richard, by the humidity that was uh, inside the crawl space? And yeah. that's why we're doing the encapsulation. Definitely. Uh, this this hole, let's say, seventy five percent of the home. All the joists were damaged due to due to, due to humidity. Uh, it's all dry rotted out. It's like paper now. Yeah. yeah so, folks, we're having to replace pre predominantly all the the joists, all the beams, uh, redo supports throughout the house. You'll see the jacks, and we'll show you that they're installing those later on. But uh, but yeah, it was this was pretty pretty extensive, and the guys are taking less than two weeks to uh, to wrap this up. But uh, watch your step, Joe, as you come through. You can see here every the floors had to have been removed. This this crawl space, as you see, a lot of them that we work on, we work on from underneath. This is one where we had to work on from the top down. And why is that, Richard? Just the, due to size constraints and access. Due to size, and it's a lot easier to work from above rather than from below. Because down there, you're on your belly, and the amount of woodwork that we have here, pushing that into the crawl. You know, sometimes crawls are below the surface of the the ground, so sometimes you'd have to crawl under below ground level to get into the crawl. Some houses are level, that way you can just slide in, get your products and materials yeah. in to do the work, tools, and have your uh, teammates help you out. But coming through the floor is the best bet. That way we could visually see a wider range of the area, the damage that's going on. Mm -hmm. That way we could figure yeah. out what really needs to be replaced and what could withstand another few years or not. Yeah, um, yeah a lot of sistering. This board right yeah. here, broken off. If you'd like to get a little close up on that, 
We can show you some of the cracks right here. Literally, when you were in the house walking around, you felt like you were going to fall through the floor. It was very, very spongy, almost like a trampoline. It was that bad. Yeah. Um, is this one of the, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is this home, Richard, to the hundreds and hundreds that you've worked on yeah. in well, your years experience? you got to give it to the house. I mean, with all the dead wood there, it was still standing on the walls. Yeah. So, but, I mean, it's a very old home. But um, this was very bad. Uh, definitely happy that they called us to come in here and fix it because they're definitely going to have peace of mind after. So probably on a, a scale of 10 being like the worst, probably on a... Eight, an eight, eight okay. just for the All flooring. Right. <laughs> well, thank you, Richard, for walking us through the project no, no site and seeing what's, uh, seeing what's going on out here in uh, Dunedin, Florida, where you'd be surprised how many crawl space homes there is throughout Tampa Bay area, Dunedin, St. Pete, Tampa, uh, so if you do find your home, the, the floor is settling or, or loose, um, maybe an area where some heavy weight is, the refrigerator, be sure to give us a call. We'll, uh, on a free inspection, come underneath your crawl space. Make sure you have the proper supports, the proper beams, joists, and uh, that you're not going to have more expensive repairs down the road. So thank you, and uh, go ahead and click the link below if you want that free inspection.